hello, welcome to episode 12 of our Timberborn update 2 with the Iron Teeth. Let's play. Last episode we did a whole bunch of uh, building up our little industrial area right here, and we also started recovering from a massive extinction because we didn't have enough, uh, enough food, but I think we're probably okay. We might be alright with over <laughs> 3,000 right here. But uh, we need to figure out another way of uh, getting food storage handled because right now we have a whole lot of our storage taken up by dandelions and pine resin so we clearly don't need any more of that so very first thing we're going to do is we're going to eliminate all of the pine trees that we're using to uh, get resin from and I don't think there's very many I think it might have even just been that many right there so I think that should solve that problem. And uh, we got rid of all the dandelions, but what we didn't do is have the healer actually make any more medicine and distribute it everywhere else. So what ends up happening with that is, well, nothing. <laughs> and we have these medical, medical beds. The problem with these is the only person that can bring medicine to the medical beds is actually the healer. So you kind of can't pause this. It's just going to kind of keep going, which is annoying, <laughs> I think is the uh, right way to say that. So we have all this medicine. We have it all sorted up. We have so much medicine. We have over a thousand and we have 2,500 dandelions just chilling, doing absolutely nothing. So I think these are all full in here. Yeah. So we're going to need to find somewhere to put those. And we also need to find somewhere else to put food. So I was thinking this whole area back here is probably going to need to be uh, removed, blown up, whatever have you. And that's probably going to be one of our major projects for today. And then we can also maybe look at improving some of this area as well. Right now we're pretty backed up in terms of all of our production and construction because we are, again, down about 60 or 70 beavers from the peak uh, two episodes ago. And, of course, we don't have enough beavers to be working all of these things just yet anyway. So, you know how it goes. We just have to have uh, something something done just kind of have to go with the flow and get what you can done get what you can get done done excuse me and go from there another thing somebody mentioned is that uh these grist mills are blocking the farms that is correct so we actually need to move at least one of these farms somewhere else and i'm tempted to make it this guy so i think we're going to Go ahead and put a farm here. Go ahead and get this going on a turbo speed. But we'll get this farm built and then we will demolish this one. And that should give us pretty good coverage. And then we can plant a little bit more stuff here. As far as sunflowers go, I think... Hmm. I should probably know what these look like. But we might actually not have any sunflowers, so I don't think I need to worry about getting rid of those. Should be. Okay. We'll go ahead and make that a priority thing. And I actually... Yeah, we'll go ahead and, at the very least, pause this. I don't know if I want to get rid of it, necessarily. Might need the manpower, beaver power. Might need that later. But at the very least, we'll have this one to uh, take care of some stuff over here. And we're going to go ahead and plant some more carrots. And then some more potatoes, just to kind of fill this out. So that will be a little bit of a help there. As far as wood goes, we're looking good. We just have uh, most of our wood storage is full, and I haven't built any additional additional wood storage just yet. And it's going to be kind of hard to build 
too much more wood storage over here because of how these things are set up. But I think... I think I might be able to get away with... Uh, maybe, maybe not. I probably can't get away with putting another one on top of here, but there's going to be some other spot I can do it. Not that we really need a ton of wood right now, because we've kind of caught up. I want to extend this, but I don't have enough distance, like we said last episode. I don't have enough distance coming from the uh, city center to get there. Which is a problem, because we have... Uh, well, actually, I think I can just go ahead and solve that problem by, uh, by doing this. <laughs> Just get these things kind of removed. Not going to be a big deal. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few in Timberborn, it seems. So we'll go ahead and pop that there. That should give us a little bit more... A little bit more distance here once these paths are actually complete. So we're going to go ahead, since we're already here, I believe we'll actually use this as our uh, our template here. I think I still want to have this be the outlet, so maybe we'll... Uh, Maybe we'll actually build across here. That might actually be the way to go. Plus, that'll use a whole ton of wood. All right, so these maples are not being cut because we don't have anywhere to put the wood, which is understandable. So to accomplish what we need to get done, I'm going to go ahead and start building out here just to make sure we can get that all taken care of. I think the water flows that way. Yes. So we can actually just go ahead and get this entire thing blocked off. We're, we are going to have to have another district somewhere eventually, but we can go ahead and start building this massive wall here and get our builders put to work. And they'll start using some of the wood, and then that means they can start chopping down more trees. So we're going to first unplant these trees so they don't get, well, replanted. That ought to give them uh, something to do in the meantime, at least. We'll come back to that later. But while they're doing that, we need to figure out a way to get over here. So I think the best way to do that is going to be to build some stairs. To get up to the top here. And we'll go ahead and get these things done. Then we'll start putting explosives everywhere because that's a recipe for a good time, right? Just got to get these guys out of here. Put in the stairs. Yeah, we got plenty of room for that. Go ahead and mark these as cuttable trees. All right, they'll take care of that when they get to it. And then we have... 404 of these. So I think we can probably go ahead and start uh, start putting some of this down. Obviously we'll have to fill in as we go. So we'll let them take care of that. So unfortunately we do have to keep making medicine, which is taking up a ton of our storage. We actually need to make our own storage for the medicine stuff. I just don't have anywhere to put another thing at this exact moment. Well, without 
getting into areas that I'm trying to reserve for other things. Trying somewhat unsuccessfully. Hmm. I'm not sure where I should put that. I know it has to go somewhere. Well, at any rate, the drought's over. It's cycle 20. So that's improving, at least. We now have this second set of uh, golem factories working. How many? We have 40 beavers in this district. 22 open jobs. I think we're going to go ahead and... Well, first of all, we should make sure that the food stuff is prioritized before we go too crazy. All right, I mean, there's not really that much more stuff going on here, but I do want to make sure... There we go. Make sure we have all of these going. Because as soon as we start getting golems here, then we can actually, you know, accomplish things. Which would be nice, right? That's the eventual goal, is to actually, you know, get something done. I think that's something everybody wants for themselves. Alright, we still haven't built anything over here. Why? Okay, there's just they're just slow. They'll get to it eventually. Just like they're very, very slowly getting to this. We might actually not be able to get all the way out here like I thought. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, so this actually flows into here and through here. So we might actually just go straight across here. I forgot that this didn't flow that way. So let's actually, let's just, for right now, let's just do that. I kind of don't want to look at the uh, stuff right here. I think I'd rather have that just be a, uh, a wall of levees. As dumb and wasteful as that might seem. Alright, so I think, well, these haven't been torn down yet, so we still have quite a while to go. We'll get there. Just takes a little bit of time. They are very slowly working on this. We'll keep tabs on them as they go about their business. So we're only one head short of having our first golem assembled. Uh, we don't have our... Why are we not building these yet? I guess that's not a construction priority in this district. I don't know what would be a priority over all of this. I'm honestly not sure. Beside these uh, golem assemblers. So maybe we should go ahead and increase the priority of at least one of these. Is there one that has any amount of them delivered? No? Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, no, this is actually in the process of being constructed. I was wrong. This is just the total actual capacity of stuff to hold on to. So we're in good shape. We'll have a golem pretty soon. We'll put him to work somewhere. These guys are injured. Well, I can't really have the healer go between districts now, can I? But I think I can move the medicine over here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll import some medicine. Did I? Oh, I was already doing that. Okay. Now, why is this drying out? This should not be drying out. It should be. Should be high enough to actually stay dry. 
Or not stay dry, stay wet. We shouldn't have any problems with the amount of water coming in. Well, we didn't before, so maybe we just have to wait. Is it going up at all? Maybe not. Well, that would sure be annoying if this died. If all of this died. Oh well. Alright. We should have a golem. Yes, we do. Alright, where's our uh, where's our little mechanical beaver boy? I don't see him. You're not a golem. You're not a golem. Where? Alright. No, I don't want to rename him. I want to find out where he is. Alright, where are you going? You're moving things around? Do we have sci We have enough science points? Yeah. I think... What's going to be the most valuable job for a golem to do? Honestly, it's probably building... Whoa, I can't... Okay, I can't unlock that yet. Never mind. Never mind. What about bakery? 750? Okay, maybe we shouldn't have done golems this early. Okay, farmhouse... A farm might be a good spot for the golem, so we'll go ahead and unlock that. And we'll let him get to work there. We should have another one pretty soon. Well, kind of. But if he never has to go to sleep, then we don't really have to worry about that, do we? Now, somebody needs to be building... Oh, I can't do that one yet. Because we don't have the platform. Alright. That's fine. I think it was the platform under this other one. It's under construction. Can I just... Not, I guess I can't click on it. But I can click on this one for some reason. Huh. Well, that's weird. Do I just not have planks in this district? No, I do. And we have beavers working here. So what's up with that, huh? That's, uh, strange. Well, we'll get there. Just one of those weird things. We're still only at 91. Man, it's going to take forever to get back up to where we were. And they are very slowly chopping trees down, so I guess that's a positive to take away from all this. That's going to take them a while. Let's see, we have a good storage of water. We're all good to go for quite some time. we got lots of food. We're slowly working our way down the uh, dandelion stock. We need to build more storage. And I was going to put some of it up here once this is all done. So I guess we'll probably just keep waiting for that. Oh. Duh. It's dry because nobody was working here. I can't believe that. Alright, well. That was annoying of me to not have noticed that. If you commented that in the past uh, 15 minutes and... Well, I don't, I don't know what the second half of that was going to be. But if you commented that in the uh, last 15 minutes, I fixed it. So I will have taken care of it before I see your comment. Sorry. <laughs> it's fun sometimes when that happens. Are all these beavers injured? I wish I would tell you how they get injured. What happened to the... How did the golem get incapacitated? Uh, 
Oh, is that energy? Oh, okay. Because there's no... They still haven't... Are you serious? They still have not finished this stupid thing. All right. That's ridiculous. Somebody get over here and finish this platform. I swear. It needs four planks. We have planks. Why are you not doing this? There's literally no reason for this. So I guess we just get to keep this highlighted for a little bit until they decide to, you know, actually do that. Okay, that's done at the very least. How in the hell did they get so injured? I don't understand. Mechanistry, please, for the love of God, give us an option to learn how all of our beavers get injured. Because it does not make any sense at all to have so many beaver injuries. That is ludicrous. I keep seeing people comment in earlier videos about, oh, the golems injure beavers. How? How does that happen? And if that's what happens, then why do you let them exist at the same time as other beavers in the same district? There's no reason for that. All right, ding dong, it's time for you to go get charged. Well, seems these beavers are too stupid to figure out how to not get injured, so we're going to have to heal them anyway. Let's put them underneath this thing. Give them three of those medical beds to try and figure their lives out. Are we looking over here? Still uh, not a ton of progress. Let's whatever. What about over here? I guess we're kind of getting somewhere. All right. I'll try and get somebody to get rid of these. Just continuously waiting. Lots of stuff has to go perfectly for this to not be an issue. Okay, now it, God, this pisses me off. All right. You were banned from working on the farm. Because I guess you injured people just by existing, which is a ridiculous game mechanic. That is beyond stupid that that even exists. Uh, so can't use them as haulers. So I guess we'll just have to have them work in the lumber mill, which is kind of a waste of a golem, but whatever. All right, so. I guess we should find a place to do some storage, huh? First instinct would be to put a bunch of these things over here. Just do something like this. Then put in platforms here and here. On the bottom side of this other thing. Put 
put in <clears throat> medical beds before that becomes unaccessible. Inaccessible. Excuse me for the grammar police. Uh, I'll put this here and put this here. And then this one can then be up here. And we'll go ahead and just make this for golem parts. Since that's accessible right there for those. Looks good to me. And then we'll go ahead and get these taken care of. And I think we're going to want to do that that way. And then that way we can put another guy going like so. I think that's probably what we're going to want. How many worthless beavers do we have in this one? 14. 14 incapacitated beavers. What a load of you know what. All right. This might end up having to become a golem only district by the time we get there. That's very annoying. Because these guys theoretically shouldn't really be going over here because their charger's right here. Well, and the storage will eventually be built over here. That requires a thousand science. I don't think golems can work in the inventor hut, can they? Oh, they can. Oh, never mind. Beavers only. Okay. All right. And we're looking over here. Any improvements? Not really. But we can add a couple more to the stumpy areas. This coming along at all? Kind of. Maybe. A little bit. Oh, well, that's all right. I think if I can find a good spot, I might be able to actually put the uh, log storage if I'm smart about it put the log storage on top of this reservoir here it's just going to require a whole lot of these platforms Let's see if I can do three and three here maybe well that's on a different level so that's probably not not advisable, but if I had them come in from down here, that could work. Maybe I'm just thinking out loud. I probably should have done this before I actually sat down to record. So this is the problem. I, I want to put stuff in and I don't really understand where it goes or where it needs to go, rather. All right, over here in the district of abject failure, how many incapacitated beavers? 14? You stupid idiots. Just don't get in the way of the golems. You'll be all right. So I guess I'm going to have to put a healer over here. Even though I can't... Can't really even do anything. All right. Well, score one for really stupid game mechanics. I just won't import any dandelions over here so they can't waste all my time making medicine. They can just distribute the medicine they import from another district. All right, so... I want 750 to work in the grill. I can put them in the gears workshop for a thousand science. You know what? We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. So that'll keep us covered for another couple of golems coming out. We'll just slowly ramp up and get stuff figured out. All right. So 
So these should at some point receive medicine from one of these guys. Yep, and that's exactly what's happening, so that's okay. I guess we just have to have this building here for some reason. That's fine. Whatever. Okay, what else is getting built over here? Anything? Are they still trying to do these golem assemblers? All right, let's uh, let's focus on getting these warehouses done first. Get something finished at least. All right, so we'll kind of uh, ignore that disaster over there for a little bit. Still waiting on this district to kind of catch back up. 14 children beavers, that's a good sign. We still only have 80. Okay, now we have 85. See, it's, it's working okay. It's just slow. And there's those dumb things that you have to uh, account for. Oh well. It is what it is. Meanwhile, over here, they're still not finished with all of the tree demolition. Can I not place another one? Or is this just a glitch? Oh, there's still a log here, so I can't do that because there's a log in the way. Okay, that's good to know. Well, so that's also a slow thing, I guess. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, I can put one there. I guess there's nowhere else we'll have to come back to that as well. Alright, how many injured beavers do we have? Only four. Okay. That's an improvement. All right, we'll go ahead and pause these two. Uh, once these are full, I'm not going to build any more golems after this one for a little bit. I want to try and catch up on some other things and see what we can accomplish before anything else goes wrong. So I guess the key here is going to be to just eventually have a golem-only district. These little whiny babies can't coexist. <sighs> How annoying. That's fine. Go away, Facebook sounds. Nobody cares. Okay. So we're looking okay. We're 37% on that. This is still the same. Still looking good. Still nobody building over here. Well, slowly at least, because we don't have enough beavers to really prioritize. We're still losing beavers. Man, this is annoying. Annoying, 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 annoying. Well, I think what's hurting us is the automatic immigration over here, so we'll probably... I think we're going to lower that. Now that I have six uh, six golems over there, we'll lower that to 35. So we stop sending anybody over there for a while. Try to keep some of the adults over here. We got so far behind on the berries, I can't believe it. Guess that's what happens if you just uh, end up eating them, which they should not be doing. Really, I should be... I don't want to have to go to every single one of these and just reject berries. Because then... If you do that, you're going to have nowhere to put the berries. And you still have to store them somewhere. You just don't want people to eat them. So that's probably actually pretty dumb of me to do that. 
Hmm. Well, here's another drought at least six days. We'll see what else we can uh, get accomplished while that's going on. I just need more berries, man. And I guess I could plant some over here and they didn't just export them, but uh, I don't know. It's just everything got really out of whack. It makes it really difficult to actually come back from anything. I don't want to make this whole thing berries. That seems really stupid. But we might have to do that. Just to have a fighting chance with our, uh, our breeding pods over here. Anything else happen over here that's actually worth talking about? Nope, okay. Well, they're building here at least. I guess I can go ahead and extend that. How far out is that going to be okay? I guess probably for, for right now. How's our power situation? Okay, we're definitely using it. Definitely using it. I think we can unpause. Because we need a little bit more power. Especially since we have all these things going over here. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and pause that again. So we have perfect number of six beavers. Who's injured? Eight. Alright. Idiots. Alright, I know a couple of you have commented, hey, you need to restrict your warehouse to specific items. I probably do. I'm not going to do it because it's very annoying to try to keep up with all that. And uh, I just don't feel like doing it. Sorry. <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll be okay. We're not going to be full in this district for a while anyway. And this one, prognosis is getting a little better gradually working through the uh, dandelion surplus. I can't really get rid of any resources without using them in this game, which is a little annoying, but whatever. Man, I want them to get rid of these trees, but they won't. Well, right now, if I just do this, they're going to have to cut these. Maybe. Possibly. There's probably so many logs already stored in here that it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, they'll get to it when they get to it. Just going to be a whole lot of waiting. Which is not really a fun thing in a unedited playthrough of a uh, very long game. Okay, and why are we down? We only have so many potatoes. Why? It's a very good question. We have plenty of logs. We have... Theoretically, we have enough uh, being grown. We should be okay. We still importing some stuff? Not really. Well, I'm not sure why we only have so many. Probably need to put in some farms up here for being, uh, honest with ourselves. Let's go ahead and put one here and then we can get him growing some potatoes. Just some local stuff to be close enough here. And by just a little bit, I mean just a lot of bit. How far is this going to go? Right here? Okay. I 
think we can safely get rid of that. So we'll give that a shot real quick. And then how about right here we put a nice big storage for food items. Call it carrots and potatoes. And then right next door to that we'll put in a grill for the potatoes to be, you guessed it, grilled. We'll get to this eventually, maybe in four episodes, at the rate we're going now. All right, who is injured? Three. Okay, how are we doing over here? 88. We're getting, so we have 20 happiness, so I guess our beavers are pretty content. We just don't have a lot of them. We just need these breeding pods to keep breeding. These berries to keep growing and the beavers to stop eating the berries. Okay, these aren't super varied in their progress, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I think we're doing okay. We just have to uh, kind of keep an eye on stuff. They still haven't cut these stupid trees down. Okay, well, they got some of them. So we'll go ahead and... No, I didn't hit the right one. There we go. I guess we can go ahead and... Uh, do that. Oh, come on. Seriously? No, we're not doing that. Does somebody come cut these trees? That's another thing we have to wait for. How are we doing over here? All right, I should have a couple more spots I can put in. Some of these, yep, those two. Well, that's some kind of progress, at least. How are we doing in food in this district? Okay, we're doing all right. Could definitely be worse. They're planting, which is good to see. And we have warehouses... That are, well, I guess these two are inaccessible because they have these platforms kind of in the way. So that's uh, strange, I, but whatever. Could definitely be worse. Okay, I think we have enough gears now to stop importing them. Because we're now producing them with golem power. Although we might need more planks, so I should probably keep importing planks. We're still importing planks, yeah. But we'll stop with the gears. Yeah, we'll stop with the gears. But stay with everything else. Alright, now we're just waiting for this one to get done, and then someone to come get rid of this tree. However long that might take. Yes, yes, cut down the tree, please. I'm begging you. Okay. Yeah, get rid of the logs. Then you can get rid of that one, and then I'm going to blow this all up. Because I think eventually I'm going to get rid of this wall here. Maybe. Is that on the other side? Yeah. 
I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, in terms of level, I think I have another full level I can do here. Then that's going to be on the same level as the gate there. So I don't think they're going to be able to reach this far anyway, but we're going to give it a shot. They might not. Might not. But we're going to do our best. Does somebody come get this stupid tree? Okay. I think we can now mark these as cuttable again. need somebody to come get this tree. We'll mark it as high priority demolition. Oh, that's all it took, I guess. All right, get that thing out of here. All right, goodbye. We'll just get this whole thing up here. Oh, you see, I did it. I did it to myself again. That needs to be something else. Because that's going to end up being a damn piece. Yep. And that's going to end up being a triple floodgate and of course this isn't going to fill up because none of it's built yet which is fine all right how are we doing on our population up to 89 ever so slowly here how's our berries looking still not growing Okay. They take 12 days to grow a berry. To grow a cluster of three berries, so an average of four days per berry. Each of these needs one per day. So each breeding pod. Or is it two per day? So each, each breeding pod needs four berry bushes. I think is what my math is going to come out to. So this is 15. So we should be fine. This is more than enough berry bushes. It just, for whatever reason, is not uh, all being used on these guys. All right. I think I'm confident I can allow these to be prioritized by haulers here. So we have so much water now that I think it's not going to matter. And we want the berries to come here first anyway. So I, I think this is fine. If this is a terrible mistake, please tell me in the comments. Because this, this whole thing is might as well be voodoo to me. I don't understand it in the slightest. But we are making a pretty good dent in our dandelion and uh, making more medicine, but at least medicine's consumable. Theoretically. Okay, now, these are fully supplied. That's a creaking bed noise. Okay, that's kind of, kind of cursed. Okay, so our batteries are all the way down here. And it's still lowering, even though, even though water is flowing. Okay, so we actually need more power. So we can take here on top of the wall, we can actually put in 
I think we can put in some water wheels. Some big boys, but we're going to need to put in some sort of a, uh, a thing here, I think. Maybe? This really is not set up very well for this. Because I want to do that, but I don't have a way to connect the uh, power shafts over here. Boy, that sure is annoying, isn't it? I could... I could put one here. But then I have to build a staircase down to it. Which I don't think I can presently do. Unless I were to put one here. And actually, I could just run the uh, run the power into one of these guys. Yeah, let's try that. I guess I don't really have anything to lose, do I? And we'll just blow that up. Yeah, that ought to work okay. We just have to get down to these berries. Which I guess we could then export. I don't remember this being split. Huh, okay. Well, I probably just didn't pay attention. Okay, this can become... I scrolled right past the berries at the very top. That's embarrassing. Okay. Okay. So let's get this. I'm trying to get one thing kind of accomplished at the end of this episode. That's going to try to be getting some of these berries harvested. We will do our best. Now, can I? I think once I have this taken care of, I can put one of these up here. But I think I'm probably just going to want to go ahead and put it down here. Actually, no, that's going to destroy those. We'll put in a gather thing, and then once the stairs are in, they can just gather it from the top of the stairs. Because that makes complete sense. Alright. Put that in. And we'll give that a shot. Now, the other problem we're going to run into is this is going to be flowing. I bet we can just dam this. Yeah, that actually seems kind of smart. Okay, nothing to do in range of blueberries. I guess he can't. I guess he can't get these done. All right, we'll just have somebody come in and... Too far and cannot be demolished. Are you serious? You can't demolish anything beneath you. I think somebody told me that and I just didn't understand. But why? Why can it not be demolished? It's right there at the end of this stupid thing. Can I? Yes. Okay. So I might have just wasted my time with the stairs. And I'm just I'm not I'm not with it today. It's just not working right. Brain is in full shutdown mode. Oh well. We'll get this taken care of anyway. This is just kind of a waste of resources. Whatever. Alright. How are we looking over here? Okay, we got some good progress. Slow, but good progress. I guess we can just go ahead and get that rolling. How are we looking over here? Out of blueberries again, which is annoying. Still have 87. 
we keep sending beavers over here because we kind of have to. It'd be nice not to export beavers. But I don't have any breeding pods over here. Although I guess we could probably put that down to 30. And then once we get this going, we could probably have a uh, couple of breeding pods. We'll just, uh, we'll just put three of those right there. Let's demolish this. And then we have to do one more here. I think. So if I go down one here, down two, down three, down four should be enough. And I got multiple staircases, so I guess we'll end up still using this one. That's fine, but this one's going to have to go bye-bye. And then this is going to become the whole thing as well. So let's get that done. Okay. What do I have stored in here? Anything and everything? That's fine. I think we're going to turn... One of these areas into just berries. We can just put that guy right there. And he will forever be berries only. Now, did I? Yes. Okay, good. I actually did this correctly. That's good to know. So then that means that should be fine like that. That should be fine like that. I guess we'll just keep this as access to the back for some reason. Remember how I said this was going to be done by the end of the episode? Probably isn't. Oh well. Okay, we can add a couple more here. We're getting somewhere. It's just slow. I know I haven't added any food storage over here. But we do seem to be getting some sort of progress, at least. Go ahead and put in the pathway up here. I am fully expecting that not to reach all the way. That is fine. Although it might get, might get all the way out here, which would be nice. That gives them something to do. All right, how are we looking over here? Get that put in place, put our stairs in. And then at the very bottom, they can finally harvest some family-friendly expletive berries. All right, get this staircase finished. Let them go to town on this and get those things all taken care of. It is so annoying when I get Facebook notifications while I'm recording a video. Okay. Just get this staircase done. Just get it done. And now we can build the gatherer flag and then we can start getting some berries. This entire, well, almost entire thing. Once I have space down here, I can get rid of... <sighs> now we have a worker. All right, cool. We can leave that alone for a little while. Let them get these breeding pods set up. How are we looking over here? 95. Okay, good. And once 
they start doing the breeding over here, we probably aren't going to have any more losses from this district coming over here. Which will help this one continue to grow. Looking good. All right, we've got a couple more we can put in here. And then the next episode is probably going to be a whole lot of blowing stuff up, which is always fun. Alright, we'll prioritize those two things because now we have some storage already over here. Alright, we're already harvesting berries, which is good news. And I think now we'll have... Yeah, we're exporting berries, so that's okay. This guy will be able to harvest relatively quickly, I think. Should be in pretty good shape. And we're now over the hour mark, if my timing is correct. So I think we're in pretty good shape to go ahead and call it for today's episode. We've got a little bit of uh, expansion to our water reserves done over here. And that's going to continue as we uh, move on. Probably I'm going to have to go ahead and put another district in somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know exactly where that's going to be. We will figure that out when we get there. But that'll be an ongoing project along with the recovery of the population here. Although now we're up to 99, so we should be back in business pretty soon. Uh, this district becoming... A little bit more independent with making our own little beavers. What are they waiting on? Breeding halted, waiting for nutrients. Well, you know, we uh, we have them. You just have to actually use them. Pause this one. Let these kind of get a little bit more time on them. But yeah, I think we are finally past the nonsense even though we didn't add any storage <laughs> we didn't add any storage for food up here we did work a little bit through our storage backlog of the dandelions and the medicine having it shipped over to this district is going to help a little bit with that and we're making progress on flattening this out and then this will be more farms and more storage probably specifically for food and we will do what we can to make sure that is successful. We have plenty of food being grown over here, so I think we aren't still importing any food, and we aren't, so that's good. Uh, the storage over here is still in the process of being built, which is fine. Yeah, we'll let that run a little bit, but yeah. Other than the mishaps that we seem to kind of continually run into. I think we're doing all right. We definitely can't get everything in one screenshot unless I mod the FOV way out, which I'm not going to do while I'm recording video. That always comes later. But I think we're in a spot we can be reasonably happy with our progress today. Seem to be in good shape for most things. Gradually improving our situation with our storage. And I think next episode we're really, really going to make a lot of progress with this area as soon as they can get all of this taken care of and get all this exploded. Uh, and once this area starts to get a little bit more picked clean for the berries, I do want to put a, uh, a wall up on this side and eventually put in some water wheels up on top of this to connect to right here. But that's going to have to uh, come probably toward the end of next episode, if not the episode after that. Uh, we'll get back with our golems, of course, once we have the ability to really make a whole lot more and kind of keep them confined to this area to try and prevent injuries. Again, that is a very stupid mechanic. I really, really detest it. I think it is incredibly detrimental to the game, but that's, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Having beavers get injured by golems just existing is mindless okay enough of that but yeah that's uh that's all the time we got for today as always i really appreciate uh, everyone who's left 
comments, whether that's uh, saying, hey, I like the videos or, hey, you're doing this wrong or different advice or stuff about the game that I didn't know. I read every comment. I respond when I can and I enjoy talking to people. So if you have a question or a comment or a concern, just want to say hi, drop a comment below and I will get to it when I have the ability to do so. And we have all sorts more stuff coming this week and next. Recently found myself with a considerable additional amount of free time, I guess we'll say. The other stuff going on, but you can expect plenty more Timberborn videos and hopefully some of those new city builders, uh, well, new to the channel at least, that we'll be getting into very, very soon. So I thought I'd put out a bonus video today on Wednesday. I know I said I'd only do three or four days a week, but we're going to have more time. I'm going to have more time at least, so I'm going to try my best to put out more videos because I know a lot of people are really excited about this series and other stuff to come as well. So yeah, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. You have any manner of things you can choose to do with your free time. And today you chose to watch me play Timberborn for an hour. So that means a lot. I'm glad to have you here. Just know that you're valued, you're appreciated, and the time that you spend here means a lot to me. And I hope I'll see you back again in the next episode. But until then, that's all the time we got. We'll see you later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.